اعوذ باللہ من شیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وصلاط وسلام علی خاتم الانبیاء دس مارننگ ویل بی ان شاء اللہ ڈیلنگ ود آر یونٹ نمبر تھرٹین وچ از ان ٹائٹل ایتھیکل ڈائمینشنس آف ایموشنل انٹیلیجنس یو ول ری کال ان آور سیریز آف ڈسکشنس وی ہیو ٹرائی ٹو اپروچ ویریس امپورٹنٹ ایشوز فرام این ایتھیکل ویو پوائنٹ First, we try to understand what is ethics as such, and then we try to find out what's Islamic approach on ethics. And later on, we try to look for application of ethics in personal life, in social life, economic life, political life, and so on and so forth. Now, we are reaching the end of this uh, series of discussions. Uh, it's, uh, as you know, secret our course with this module of uh, professional ethics. We look on professional ethics from our own perspective. We do not look on it from the traditional Western approach where only a few aspects are categorized as ethics. But we believe that every single moment in human life is based on an ethical judgment. In that respect, this morning we will try to understand how Islam looks on emotional intelligence. First, we'll try to find out what's the meaning of this term and then how contemporary psychological thought looks on it. And then we'll try to find out how Islam uh, gives us an idea about ethical intelligence or whatever it calls it. Ethical judgments are based usually on indigenous standards of ethics and morality. This very simple statement tells you that if you are in France, then it is French culture, French traditions, French way of thinking, which tells you how to make a judgment. Therefore, if French values say that a person should come to his office in a three-piece suit with coordinated tie or tie should be in contrast and coordinated socks and shoes and someone comes wearing a very weird dress, then how would a French man respond? He will say this uncultured person. Why the judgment is made? Because the French evaluator or assessor is born in a culture in which that kind of dress is not acceptable, although it is a decent dress. And therefore, a judgment is made on first sight of the person. This person looks uncivilized. Another example from our own culture. When a Muslim girl appears in front of an immigration officer in Paris and she is wearing an abaya and maybe she is covering her face except her eyes, then how would the person look at her? Would he regard her a mod modern, a person who is fit in the kind of culture France has or he will think that this is a person who is perhaps coming from middle ages? Why he judges that? Because for him, the standard is sleeveless shirt, very tight, skin tight dress and lots of cosmetics. Maybe half the weight of the person is cosmetics. Therefore, many judgments which are made on the spot are not based on universal values, but essentially on local values. That's what is said here that uh, uh, indigenous standards of ethics and morality are applied usually by the people. Local customs, social norms and uh, uh, value uh, systems, uh, uh, universal values play an important role in making judgments. Now, uh, we, what we are saying here is that uh, Although local values dominate, but sometimes some universal values are also applied. 
but that is not the norm. Normally, it is local customs and traditions which are applied in making judgments. Then making judgments was role of emotions. Emotions too play an important role in making judgments. Modern psychologists finding a psychological findings show in some situations emotions prevail over reason in making judgment. When you see a person, meet a person, then quite often emotions prevail on our rational decision about a person. This is how the modern psychologists approach.